Puerto Rico, a beautiful island with more than its fair share of mother nature and man-made issues. From earthquakes and hurricanes to local politics and struggles for equal representation from the mainland, all of which must sometimes seem like an unwinnable race for recovery and progress. But urban art has become a surprising catalyst for change here. Stunning murals in some of the most hard scrabble barrios. Murals that tell the history of the neighborhoods and the island. That give people a voice. That inspire hope and pride in those that live here. That are simply beautiful. Art by the people and for the people. I'm Ian Grant, and I've spent the last three decades using my background in history and art history, exploring cultures all around the world. In this series, I'll take you to places I've never been to before. Experiencing local life through the lens of the world's artists, artisans, and keepers of culture. This is Culture Quest. Gustavus Adolphus College equips students to lead purposeful lives and act on the great challenges of our time. Gustavus, make your life count. Over a billion people live with preventable blindness. See International partners with volunteer doctors to provide sight-restoring surgeries in underserved communities around the world. This organization is united in one mission, to restore sight to the blind. They purify the air I breathe and the water I drink, keep me and the planet cool, and give me a career I love. Trees, when we take care of them, they take care of us. We all seek different in our own ways because different reflects who you are, who you want to be. The Northern Territory, different in every sense. We're in San Juan, Puerto Rico, the capital of a beautiful island. Stunning beaches, great food, layers of culture, genuinely nice people, and plenty of action and adventure for the intrepid traveler. We're making our way over to the Santurce part of town to meet with a guy named Javi Cintron. Javi's murals are all about the architectural style of the places he's painting in and he always involves the neighbors in his projects, doing everything from telling him stories about the buildings in his murals to sometimes even helping him paint. As a result, it gives the barrio a great sense of ownership and pride in Javi's work. Javi. Hey, que pasa, compadre? Hey. <laughs> How you doing, man? Come on in, come on in. You doing all right? I'm doing great. Good to see you, yeah. Welcome to my house. This is my grandma's house, uh, which my mother was born. I was born, the whole family was born in it. First off, a uh, little Santurce history. This is the place. Yeah, because this is the place in the, like in the 60s and the 70s, where all the salsa and the salsa players yeah. used to come over here to unwind. Because the neighborhood it was dangerous enough yeah. that not everybody can come over. But because everybody was a musician, yeah. either a mechanic or a musician. Uh -huh. So they used to come here on a wine. I love the phrase, it was dangerous enough. Yeah. Because it keeps people out that you don't want, you know, screwing the whole thing up. We are the underground of Santorcin. I love it. <laughs> they love the street. And you don't have to walk very far to find your first mural. So tell me this, so this is actually a great perspective. We get into this discussion of graffiti and mural and when it turns from one into the other. Yeah, it's that guy who mark the wall, mm -hmm. which is uh, sometimes a gang or young people who yeah. just, in the spur of the moment, yeah. they do a mark or two minutes. Yeah. You see the guy? Yeah. But this uh, graffiti guy artist mm -hmm. came over, he thought of the wall, he thought of the scale of the wall, he thought of the layers and the colors. This is something that has clear intention. Exactly. Yeah. Graffiti is something that 
You have a little sketch in your hand. You have very little time. You're in okay. the middle of a very uncomfortable spot. Yeah. And there are magicians. And I love them, you know? Yeah. A mural is pre pretty much a painting in a wall. Muralists are on a whole different level. It's an actual business to them. They get permits for the places they're working in, so it's all legal, which in turn gives them much more time to work with. More time ultimately leads to greater creativity and quality. Of course, it also helps to have talent. This is another mural of mine. That oh, that's you. That I did for Santo Cesley. That neighborhood is where the hard core drugs and uh -huh. it's a very rough. It's a hard point. It's a very rough, rough neighborhood. Yeah. But it was built probably in the 20s. So the houses are beautiful. Oh. But because I grew up here, I can go and do sketches. Yeah. And I can do photographs. So my intention is to bring the neighborhood that nobody can see to this wall that everybody so can see. So people visit. can see it, yeah. And just like that, we step into the center of the mural world in Santurce. Oh my God. And this is the epicenter, meaning all the, all, all the murals are done around these corners and everybody's working uh, at the same week and everybody's painting. Oh, they're all doing it the same week? In the same week. So when, when was this all done? Oh, there's uh, Zayas up, up there, David. That's uh, David Zayas, that's Danae from Canada. That's Alejandro, and that's 787 uh, Galleria de Subcultura. Uh -huh. Is the gallery of the guy who coordinates and curates the festival. Santurce Esle is the annual mural festival that happens here and has been going on for the last number of years. It started out with mainly local muralists like Javi, but more and more, it's been drawing muralists from all around the world. Like the person that did this. This is done in spray. Mm -hmm. So what you do is like, you uh, you put the drawing in the scale of the wall, mm -hmm. and because every building is different, every right. wall is different. Right. And you, the wall doesn't work with you. You have to work. You got to work with, with the, the wall. wall. Yeah. Whatever it takes for you to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah. As possible. Uh, a because people are expecting it. Mm -hmm. It's a festival. Mm -hmm. uh, B is a deadline. And see, you never know when it rains. <laughs> so you better work. Not, you and that's work. so true. It, it suddenly rains, you're like, you, you better work. Yeah. This is so perfect for that idea of art being for the neighborhood. People come now to see it more like, oh, you know, uh, I can hang out and have a coffee or have a beer, but I can see art. And because you are hanging out, you can actually look at it. Yeah. You can see it. It's not like you're in a gallery in a museum. People go like, just go this way. Go, go yeah, this keep way. Moving, keep, keep moving. Keep, keep, yeah, keep moving. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. just, just standing looking at, at, at the Messiah yeah. for like an hour. I didn't realize this about the way I was going to feel standing here. The scale of it, you feel like you're almost inside it. You know what I mean? You know, the scale is perfect because you, you see it enough. You see details yeah, yeah. all the way to the top. I'll show you more. Come. Javi was commissioned by the city to paint a mural commemorating the one-year anniversary of Hurricane Maria. So it was fun to do this mural. It was a week of the first year of Maria. So everybody was really excited because some people just got electricity. So it was a time that, oh, wow, you know, we're going to get out of the mess that we have. Yeah. And part of the, the reconstruction, it was to hire a couple of mural, muralists to uh, have bridges like this one, tell people we are doing better. It puts right in front of everyone driving through here that this is a neighborhood. And this neighborhood's been here a long time, and this is a community, and we have a soul, we have a heart, and here it is. Everybody tell me, oh, it reminds me of my grandma, it reminds me of my aunt, it reminds me of the house that I grew up. Yeah. And I love that. People think, myself included, think of mural art, urban art, graffiti as being this modern, modern thing. But this is uh, all about history and all about uh, getting back to roots which is this great juxtaposition between the medium and the message. 
It's a pleasure to be here with you. It's been great, man. So you my neighborhood. This is spectacular. I absolutely love it. Where about where about? You know what where about where about? No, I have no idea. Well, but we can get overexcited. Yeah. We go where about where about? And I get excited a lot, so I'm I not gonna be able to use that one. <laughs> That's so great. Let's keep going. Let's go that way. Let's keep going. We're driving southwest uh, down to the Ponciauco area to go see this amazing uh, mural uh, village. But there's an added wrinkle to this because just last week there was, I think, a 5.6 level earthquake. And then two days ago, another one uh, was 5.8. So this island just keeps on getting beaten up by Mother Nature. This is Shakira Olivares. She grew up in Jalco and lives in Texas. She's helping us out today as a translator. And yes, we are walking by a giant mural by our buddy Javi Centrone. So uh, one of these guys up here must be Pete, though. Actually, I recognize him from the web page. Hey. Hi. Hi. Ian. Pito. Pito Hernandez. All right, man. It's nice to meet Pito you. Pito is a huge advocate for getting his hometown on the map. He created an organization called Yalchromatic, similar to Santurce Esle in that it has an annual mural festival. His goal was that Yalchromatic festivals would draw tourists from around the island and around the world and bring them into his hometown. The first edition of Yalchromatic was a huge success, but that was only a taste of what was yet to come with Yalchromatic II. This is now one of the most famous streets in the whole of Puerto Rico and the heart of Yalcromatic II. Entonces, eh, la propuesta que nos había traído uno de los artistas era estos patrones, ¿verdad? Este concepto. En... So one of the proposals he got, he got was this uh, color pattern. Pero como en la primera edición yo había hecho una obra en una parte del cerro, pues la propuesta de ese artista yo la adapté para esta comunidad. So the artist brought the idea, but um, the real doers were the people. So the actual, the actual people that yeah. live here did, okay. did this? Yeah, because the artist only, has, uh, only had 14 days, yeah. so 19 um, houses they needed to paint. So that's when the community, you know, kick in and they, they you know, you know help in the project. Yeah. And it's because, you know, people just got together, they unified through art. So he got 42 proposals, 42 projects, and um, he showed 13. So while all the artists and the community were painting the houses, the artists were also doing the mural? Aquí y en todos eh, los 13 que se estaban yeah, ejecutando. Yeah, here and in the other 13. And all over the place. Sí. Era la comunidad menos visitada de Yauco. It was the less visited community um, in Yauco. En la comunidad más visitada de todo Puerto Rico. It turned out to be the most visited one in Yauco. You can now find countless Facebook postings, Instagram photos, music videos, travel blogs, all about this little street in Jauco. Ahora hay artesanías, hay comida, hay bebidas, hay Mavi, hay Limber, hay generación de empresas pequeñas que surgen a raíz del proyecto. So now there's um, arts, a craft, there's um, food, um, there's economic growth. And they're taking Se empoderaron. Right. No, Eso se llama e empoderamiento comunitario. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, community empowerment. So then we decided to go to a third edition of Giacomatric. This is the exact location from the next edition of Giacomatric. So you can see where the, the other little street is, way over there. And it's, you're going to bring it kind of this way. It's like turning on color. Yeah. And now we get to spend the rest of our time with Damaris Cruz and David Zayas, two muralists at the top of their game. With a degree in photography, Damaris started out in photography and paint, eventually moving up to the large scale of murals. Her work is distinguished in part because of her use of collage and focuses on history and memories, as well as everyday life and local characters but it all revolves around telling a story. She now has murals throughout Puerto Rico and as far away as Colombia, Ecuador, and Israel. So this is 
one of your many projects, but you were telling me it's part of a, a barrio project that you were involved with? Yeah, this is uh, my recent project that I did um, with the museum, the Contemporary Museum. Oh, like the Contemporary Museum, the big museum in town? Yeah, the one in, here in San Luis. That's a big museum. Yeah. That's, imp <laughs> that's impressive. I think that's impressive. I did three murals around here. Mm -hmm. um, it was called Oda la Memoria. It's translated Odds Memory. Odds to Memory. Ode, ode, ode to, to the Memory, memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm guessing. I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds you right. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Nail it. Yeah. Um, so basically, my work always uh, is about memory and quotidianity. Mm -hmm. So what I did in this project was um, interviewing a little a little people from here and also like uh, doing some research about the area because this is like behind the workshops of the train where it used to be. Uh, so there's a lot of history involving um, in music with, with here, there's a lot of um, artists that come from here. When you're doing a mural, like you open the Pandora box of the memory of them right. because they start like looking you weird, especially when I start gluing the papers yeah, that people yeah, are like, yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. But eventually, as soon as they start like seeing an image or whatever, mm -hmm. um, I find it really cool that people open that box and start like, telling you stories around everything. I don't want to say it was easy because it wasn't. Yeah, this does not look easy. I mean, it looks like a hell of a lot of work, actually, to, to do the collage. You need to have patience, but at the same time, maybe when you enjoy what you do, come again, time flows. Time goes fast. quickly, yeah. David's background is in visual arts, and like Damaris, his murals are all over the world, including Spain, Brazil, Mexico, Paraguay, Israel, and the United States. He's also created short courses on street art at universities, both in Puerto Rico and the U.S. David's style is all about reflecting the human condition. Each element of his work is some sort of allegory. Nothing makes it into his murals by chance. So there are arrows coming in. She's got a, a, a star in her lantern. What's it about? The road is not easy. So Bob, the oh. arrow, um, this is for the... Like obstacles? Yeah. I mean, he's talking about the path that we... All his work, he's talking about uh, an poetic way of the past in life. So, in this case, the arrows are more like uh, obstacles in your life, like in their path. There's the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune is... Uh, exactly. Yeah, okay. On the difficult, right. difficult stuff yeah. in life. Yeah, the rooster. Yeah. Have I seen that in a couple others yeah. of yours? So is that that's part of your... Imagery as well. Uh, the rooster uh, uh, is the spirit of fighter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I use a lot in, in my world for this signification. Uh, the rooster is part of the, my language. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect way of saying it. No, I like that. Honestly, it's great. All right, let's go see another. Uh, Let's go check out another one. Mine. Yeah. Yours. <laughs> and so the competition begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're off to see her second piece in the museum's barrio project. So what I tend to do is kind of like uh, create a story. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like in a poetic way because it's... Damaris takes specific life elements from the neighborhood and blends it with general history from the area. She also likes to hide specific little elements that only those from the neighborhood would recognize. If you really know how to look, yeah. uh, you will notice and you can make the connection. Well, in a, and in a way, both of your work, your works, 
<laughs> both of the both of your styles have those elements of hidden meanings. You have to look at it and spend some time, right? You can drive by and go, wow, that's really cool. But you also have this opportunity to stand yeah. and and look and, uh, you know, why are, why are there musical notes and why why is that yeah. there or why is the key in there? I love that element in 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 the in your in your art. And just a few blocks away, we're in front of another one of David's oh, pieces. Man, that's so the mural great. business is not all happy painting time. It's a lot of hard work and stress and sacrifice yeah. if you want to make it in this business. He sleeps, I remember. He sleeps over there. In the... David would actually sleep up on that platform when rain would come through, rather than take the 10 minutes it would take to lower the platform to the ground. You see the cable, electric cable? Yeah, I do. Very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. At times, they were working just a few inches away from those cables. The mirroring is very difficult. Yeah. It's very hard. Well, and you're dealing with all these random elements. Suddenly yeah. it's raining, suddenly it's super hot, suddenly, you know, exactly. people are yelling at you. I don't know, who knows? I mean, all these different things are coming at you as you're trying to create something. Yeah, people was like, oh, well, take one day off, like, and we're like, we can't. Yeah, our, our <laughs> day off is when it's raining. Yeah. yeah. You don't take the easy way out, man. Yeah. You ever think of like painting this wall, a <laughs> nice low wall, it's nice on the ground? <laughs> It'd be really I, easy. I don't think. No. But for a start. Yeah. I, in the mirror project. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might do one on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to head out of the city and up into the mountains to have a look at a private commission Damaris is working on. It's a beautiful location, but as is still the case throughout Puerto Rico, you can look out at this stunning view and see the long shadow that Hurricane Maria still casts. That must have been just a f crazy time. Yeah. Imagine all this, all this way here without power and without water in some places. Yeah, how did, how did places like this in the middle of nowhere. Well, I mean, People with the trees in, in the middle of the road that yeah. um, there were like mountains. Así como que... And I mean, we're on top of a mountain. People so you, didn't you... have access to go out of their houses. Right. Yeah. So no one can really get supplies up to them. Neither they can go down. And they down. can't go down. Wow. There's still people that don't have Como que a real roof. They still have really? the tents of the Tarp FEMA, and stuff. the blue so, ones. Yeah. That's not a real roof. Wow. So it's crazy. Yeah. Everything in in a, in the murals. I think that I do it with the. Uh, a specific side of view. I mean, you can see it from everywhere, you yeah. know? But at the same time, I, I do it like for in a specific point of view. Mm -hmm. To yeah. like, oh my God, that yeah. tree looks crazy. Yeah. But when you come again, oh, you start to move, come again, the yeah. tree start to put it where it, you, you have to be, you know? Well, it's, it's total, this is my art history nerd <laughs> yeah. part coming out, but it's total Michelangelo thing, right? He built his sculptures with that exactly in mind, because where it's, you're gonna see you'll be looking up at them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's that say it's a time honored tradition. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> you and Michelangelo. Oh my God. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. We're back in Santurce for one final mural with David. We're trying to see if we can get this good angle on a mural that's up high. So we're checking out this building to see how safe it is, but it sounds like a lot of the floors are missing, which is kind of a critical element when you're walking around. These empty buildings always give me this feel of, I don't know, this at one point living past, right? Someone was here, day-to-day -day life in this room, Maybe they had kids, maybe they had a business. That sort of ghost of uh, lives past. So we finally managed to find a way up to get some height to take a look at this awesome piece of David's. 
the message is very special. It's a it's a girl falling. Okay. The, it's a, the action is the stumbling. Okay. So the stumbling is very important for us, but is uh, I learned much in the stumbling. So that's great. Yeah, all my world have fantasy. The skull uh, in, in this case is a mask, right? Mm -hmm. So all us use mask for defend or yeah. hating. Uh huh. So er, different different reasons to present exactly. yourself differently. Yeah. Exactly. The warehouse is representing um, what is say the home. Right. The home is very important, but it's uh, here. Or it's like a common. La casa representa nuestro hogar donde guardamos al espíritu. Es como. Um, it represents the home that we um, put our spirits, our soul. It's I get that. No, I get that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor yeah. for. Uh, no, I actually, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a space where you kind of keep all your. your exactly. What? What? And I get why it's hard to articulate because <laughs> yeah. I can't even. I totally get it. <laughs> but whatever that is, soul, spirit, whatever it is, there's a place that kind of is your own, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I really, and I'm still stuck on what you said. In, in life, we stumble, but you learn from your stumbles. Like if you play it safe, you never stumble, but you never get anywhere, right? It's uh, like yeah. That's a great, great piece. Thank it you. It really is a great piece. Thank you, thank you. A muralist's life is like any other artist's, like any other actor or writer or musician. It's a life of passion, of challenge trying to make the next big leap in your career and struggling with knowing when it's just time to stop. It's running a business and balancing a budget. It's at times nothing more than just plain old hard work. Murals can be a sign of hope, of change. They're an indication that someone was willing to invest money to make their building look better, of a neighborhood wanting to draw people in, to make a statement about who they are. So the next time you see a piece of art on the side of a building, try and take the time to look more closely at it because all of these elements are just below the surface of that painting on a wall. Gustavus Adolphus College equips students to lead purposeful lives and act on the great challenges of our time. Gustavus. Make your life count. Over a billion people live with preventable blindness. See International partners with volunteer doctors to provide sight-restoring surgeries in underserved communities around the world. This organization is united in one mission, to restore sight to the blind. They purify the air I breathe and the water I drink. Keep me and the planet cool. And give me a career I love trees. When we take care of them, they take care of us. We all seek different in our own ways because different reflects who you are, who you want to be. The Northern Territory, different in every sense. <laughs>